and welcome to Edit of Ten Counts Does Countdown, a show about letters, numbers, and conundrums. You can play along at home or you can go to bed. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Night night, sleep tight. <laughs> okay, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's team captain John Richardson. <laughs> John's wife once said they don't have any nice pictures of them as a couple, and that's because John's in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Still nothing as funnier as the idea that you say night night sleep tight. <laughs> you do don't you not say, say that. night night sleep tight. You don't oh. say that. Say night night. Yeah. You blow a little kissy. <laughs> I didn't say anything back, of course, because of the ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> do you, what do you say at the end of the? What do you say? I say right. Piss off then. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much of me as you can handle, is it? John was born in Lancaster, which is about three miles east of Morecambe, 20 miles north of Preston, and 50 years behind London. <laughs> and joining John tonight, it's David Mitchell. <laughs> Looking at David and John together there, just turn back the clock 30 years and you've got every bully's dream. <laughs> Interestingly as well, 30 years ago I was three years old, so that's a pretty harsh bully. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> John is an old man in a young man's body. His personality is actually eligible for the winter fuel allowance. <laughs> I like that. I like that, because in it I made some money. John has many talents, such as worrying, having an annoying voice and dressing like a driving instructor. <laughs> I wouldn't wear something this snazzy if I was on a driving lesson. Can I just say this evening, off. you are wearing pure John Richardson. Thank you. I mean, Thank it you. really is like it's a shade of mustard that only you could have found. <laughs> that's actually that's sort of Captain Kirk yellowy green, isn't it? It's more like baby's poo. <laughs> <laughs> 200,000 trees are cut down every year to make Christmas cards, which is why so many of them feature homeless robins. <laughs> yes, John Richardson, hilarious, brilliant and confident, are all nine-letter words John might get tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just count up the letters in all those words? I'm still working on it. <laughs> Biting my tongue long enough about the fact that a robin is a hedge-dwelling bird and not a tree-dweller. But... <laughs> John appeared on the TV show Comedians Watching Football with Friends, I assume, alone. <laughs> I watched it with my best mate, actually, Claire Sweeney, off of, uh, off of Brookside. <laughs> Do you still keep in touch? Uh, I follow her on Twitter. <laughs> my best mate. <laughs> After you. And you. We're best mates, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Just do a joke about me being small and let's move on. <laughs> uh, fun fact, uh, John is short for a man, five foot two. <laughs> when he was younger, John didn't want to be a comedian. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And John's teammate, Sarah Pascoe. I wanted Sarah to feel as welcome as Miles. Was that as high... Did you know it was going to be that high pitch? Oh, I can go higher, mate. <laughs> You're listening to a man who's got a communards album. <laughs> okay. What is the communards? Oh, what? my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is Britland, Britain. <laughs> I had a suspicion you didn't have testicles. <laughs> <laughs> the word nebbish used to mean someone timid, meek and ineffectual. Basically, it's an old-fashioned word for John Richardson. <laughs> in the Farsi language, the term tiam describes the sparkle in someone's eyes when you meet them for the first time. For me, it's a sparkle I most often see in the glint of my headlights in the lay-by off the westbound A42 <laughs> outside Hemel Hempstead on Thursday nights. <laughs> John got married recently, so sorry, ladies. But one of you had to make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, mate, cos you said A42 outside Hemel Hempstead and the A42 doesn't go near Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> Finally, A42 connects the M42 to Nottingham, so good luck when this goes out, mate. You're going to get absolutely owned. <laughs> Do you know what I 
I love about John Richardson? Cos I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that implies there is something. You're looking very rugged, I think. Yeah, I wasn't getting enough respect. <laughs> she does look intimidated, like the yeah. king of the wing. <laughs> the, but a nonce's wing. <laughs> John is a real Christmas cracker, because if you pull him, you'll get a very disappointing bang. <laughs> do you know, I feel honoured as well, cos I think when you wrote that joke, you probably thought, I could do that for anyone, and you picked me. I'm really grateful that you think I'm the worst lay in the room. I'm really grateful as well. <laughs> John has just had a baby daughter. And I'm already back to my previous weight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll discuss that. He loves to be touched. Yeah. Oh, um, I know. I used to live with him. Loves mm. it. Loves every bit, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to John's wife. It took 12 long hours of pain, tears and drugs, but eventually, <laughs> John managed to get her pregnant. <laughs> 12 hours? <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. <laughs> Can you imagine? 12, 12 hours. hours? That's all I'll do in my lifetime. John is an obsessive organiser, so I assume he's tidied his personality away and now he can't find it. <laughs> Still finding new ground. <laughs> so many comedians now would be in the writing room saying, we're going to have to be nice about people, but you get in there Monday morning at 6am. <laughs> I still hate these pricks. <laughs> okay, John, have you got a mascot this evening? Well, what happens with this show, Jimmy, is I arrive all excited and I put my best cardigan on. <laughs> I like it. I like you've gone with a, a grey cardigan in case anyone got overexcited. <laughs> it's not the place for excitement countdown. Or is it? <laughs> so I arrive all excited and then you bully me and you make all your jokes and then I get all depressed. So I've been looking at how to make my spirits higher and who are the most enthusiastic people on the planet? Cheerleaders. I wanted sort of to reflect countdown a more mature cheerleader. So I got together a crack team of pensioner cheerleaders. <laughs> um, we got to the human pyramid. Uh, Marjorie on top was unsure what a pyramid was. I said, like the tea bag. She got very excited. <laughs> there was an accident, three broken hips, an <laughs> evening in A&E. So I've sort of cobbled together a sort of modern equivalent. So to raise my spirits with some chance, please welcome Rico's old dear leaders. <laughs> Fans, let me see you clap your hands. Just a grey cardigan to stop people getting excited, is it, Jimmy? I don't think so, mate. 